Hi, Gemini. It's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Here to do your weekly reading. All right. So, you know, I'm just allowing the cards to guide me this week. Um, what I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of fresh starts. Okay. Some very, very positive readings out there this week. So we're going to start with the Lenormand deck. All right. We, yeah. The Clover. Luck. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And then we have the Bear. <clears throat> and then we have the Mice. Okay. Okay, so... This bear could be self-protective energy or you might feel like you need to pr protect something of yours or you might be trying to protect somebody else. The mice is something that is gnawing away at you, okay? So what's between you and this lucky energy over here? And again, we, in, in a lot of ways, make our own luck. Okay, but this can be serendipity too. Is this protective energy here? So I feel like you might be protecting somebody um, from the fact that something is gnawing at you. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to use the deck that I created um, just because... You know, I trust the messages that I get. And this deck is separated into two categories. One would be a message from the person that you're watching the video for, or uh, a message from spirit, okay? All right, so the first one we have and this has come out a couple times. The universe or God always works with you and has your back. So I feel like that's the universe saying that you have to, to trust it a little bit in regards to whatever you feel you have to protect right now. Because there's luck, there's serendipity around you. That's, that's the universe working with you. And this energy, this protective energy, you might actually be blocking that alignment with the universe. And then we have, they didn't know any better or they would have been better to you. Interesting. So there's something about the person that you feel connected to, you know, they, they might have done something that maybe you didn't like or that is gnawing away at you. But what the universe is trying to tell you here is that if they had known better, they would have done better, okay? So if somebody is behaving badly, it's, and you might think, hey, of course they know better. But that's from your perspective. It's not from theirs. They may truly not know any better, or they may not know the impact of what they did or what they said. They simply may not know. I know that can be hard to believe when you have such clarity on something as being not right. But it doesn't mean that everybody sees things from the same perspective. Okay? So that's the universe talking to you. All right, so let's see from the tarot perspective here what we get. The first row is going to represent you, and the second row will re represent the person you're watching the video for. But of course, those can be flipped, all right? In a general reading, they absolutely can. And it's my intention to read these cards in the upright position, so if they come up reversed, then I will be flipping them around. So this is you, and this is the person you're watching the video for. All 
right, Gemini, let's see. So first off, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so that tells me that, you know, you're, you're single and you're content. Now, whether or not you're content without a relationship or without a connection right now, you know, who knows? Um, you might be telling yourself that you're content without a connection. This person, we have Eight of Wands. This person feels the need to communicate with you about something. Possibly something, again, going back to this. They didn't know any better or they would have been better to you. This might be their attempt to try to, to fix something that they now know, you know wasn't the best way to handle things. All right, and then we have King of Cups for you. So even if you're single and saying that you're content, you do have love for somebody. And this, you know, I feel like is the unspoken love card. You know, you may not be comfortable speaking those feelings right now based on possibly events of the past. This bare energy could really be about you protecting yourself, okay? This, you know, is something, whatever they did is something that has been, you know, gnawing away at you. And then we have Knight of Wands here. So you might be a little nervous around this person because they might have showed some player energy in the past. They might have been in and out of your life. They might have been with other people. And, you know, it might be because they didn't know the depth of your feelings. And maybe now they're gaining that awareness of, of how you, how deeply you feel for them. And, you know, they may want to talk about this. They may want to talk about their past and what they've, you know, how they lived in their past. All right, and then we have the Empress here. So this is an energy of wanting to nurture something, wanting to grow something with this person, but there's this quiet energy here. You know, this person could see you as the Empress or you could see the other person as the Empress, which is their ideal partner or your ideal partner. Yeah, Ten of Cups. This person, you know, I feel like with this Knight of Wands facing this Ten of Cups, they want to go, this, this Knight of Wands energy isn't enough for them anymore. It's not enough to just go around and get validation from multiple people of, you know, and validation is really about, you know, validating that ego, which for some people, they need that to build up their cup of love, okay? But I feel like this person is feeling that need to, to move towards more, to move towards, you know, emotional fulfillment, which I feel like, you know, you have the energy here of wanting to nurture that and grow that as well. Look at that star. You see this person as your heart's desire. And what do they have here? Justice. So, you know, they might be feeling some, some karmic justice right now because I feel like what they ran away from in the past, it's like they want to run towards it now. And that could be the, the lucky ener energy up here that you are trying to protect yourself from that is gnawing away at you. The universe is trying to help this come together. You want to nurture this. This person is your heart's desire. And, you know, this justice card is in between the Ten of Cups and the Star. So I feel like the justice here is 
this person having learned a lesson that, you know, this player energy really doesn't, really moves them away from emotional fulfillment, doesn't move them towards it. I feel like they have learned a lesson here about that. I want to clarify that that king of uh, or that knight of wands and I want to clarify the justice as well so I'm just okay Knight of Wands clarified by Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so, you know, this person has been in the energy of asking, what now? What's next? Isn't there anything more? Seven, Seven of Pentacles is really assessing and being in kind of a contemplative energy. And we have this, you know, pregnant woman here, okay? It feels like you could... You, this person wants to watch things grow towards emotional fulfillment together. Justice clarified by two of cups. Mutual connection. That's what this whole thing is about. This mutual connection. You know, a lot of people start off in, in a player energy. Okay. And it's, you know, I look at that sort of as a way to, to grow your cup. You know, some people need that in order to grow the cup of love that they have for themselves. I'm not justifying it, okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, if somebody didn't grow up in a very loving household, sometimes I feel like that's the repercussion of it. So they are constantly trying to fill that, that cup of love that, that maybe they didn't get growing up, okay? And if they don't have a cup to give, they can't give it. But I feel like this person has, you know, learned some, some lessons in a hard way through this, this Knight of Wands energy. Because after you've been in that player energy for a certain period of time, it becomes very unfulfilling for most people. And I feel like this person is really looking at what really fulfills them now. And ultimately, it's having a loving, mutual, soulmate type of connection. And that's the reward. That's the luck that we make for, for ourselves. But this person didn't come to that conclusion in an easy fashion, okay? <clears throat> and that's, <clears throat> that's the trade-off, right? For people that do have a full cup of love to give early on in their life, you know, they don't go through these karmic lessons or the same type of karmic lessons that somebody that didn't grow up with that cup of love being built up, okay? So what's been gnawing at you possibly is, you know, should I forgive this person and let them in? That's up to you. But I feel like this person has learned some, you know, some lessons here. Let's look at the mutual energy here. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. All right, so this is a passionate new beginning. And the Queen of Cups is very empathic. I feel like you both are feeling 
an intuitive push to go towards towards your passion. And you know, and I feel like this could start off again in a very, very passionate way, but it feels like it will be different in that this is at the heart of it this time. Two of Cups. It feels very, very lucky. I feel like it may take a little bit of time for you to kind of lift this veil of protection that you have for yourself. And when you do that, I feel like you won't have that feeling of something gnawing at you constantly. And then we have attraction, Ace of Wands. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So being in the present, not worrying necessarily about what happened in the past, not worrying about what hap is going to happen in the future, but by enjoying and loving the present moment helps this particular situation. All right, Gemini, that is what I have for you for this week. Um, for those of you in the States that are going to have a Thanksgiving holiday this week, please enjoy that. Um, much, much love to you um, and your family. And uh, this is a week of appreciating and feeling gratitude for what you have, right? So giving thanks. So thank you so much, and I will talk to you next time. All right, bye-bye.